there guys and welcome back to another Forza Horizon 4 video on my channel uh, or, sh or should I say welcome back to another Shiloh rants on for 30 minutes talking about rubbish uh, no I'm only joking uh, I'll try and keep this video quite short so you can uh, so you can enjoy the laughter uh, just for 20 minutes rather than 3 hours 20 minutes um, so anyway in this video I'm going to be going through the whole of the festival playlist showing you how to complete it uh, I've just done, just recorded the video for the weekly Forzathon uh, like I said in that video I couldn't record that video yesterday because I, we only got the update um, today thankfully they, uh, they fixed the problem I'm about to be uh, kicked from the Horizon of Life session that it's found even though I didn't ask for that um, so anyway, I did the Fozzathon video just about five minutes ago. Now I'm recording this one, so they'll ho hopefully both be uploaded round about the same time, one after the other. Bear in mind, they take about 20-30 minutes to upload, depending on my internet connection. So, yeah, that's how far they'll probably be in between. So you can watch both of them tonight, so I don't really need to link them in the description, because you can just search my channel anyway. <laughs> So I'll just quickly show the Forzathon shop, the backstage vote and the Super 7 thingamajig prize thing um, for this week before we get started. So the Forzathon shop, which I did show in the Forzathon video, uh, is the 1994 Ford Super Ram 3. I quite recommend that car to be honest, I have an S2 tune for it and it's quite nice if you have the points. We've got some rubbish stuff here uh, and the Buick GSX which I can't really tell you whether to buy that or not because I don't really know the car well enough so um, you'll just have to decide for yourself on that one so the Forzathon video you can have a look at that for the Forzathon for the photo challenge you need to take a photo of the new 2024 Mustang JLB GT500 which is available via this championship flex your muscles well, I'll tell you what cars for that championship and all you have to do is win that championship along with these these three you have to win them against highly skilled driver tires and you have to finish first overall if you do them in co-op uh, then you just have to like beat the driver tires either 2-1 or 3-0 um, and I'll be doing some a festival playlist stream tomorrow probably I'm, I'm gonna do two streams over the next few days but I think the festival playlist one will be first uh, so that'll be the one that I'm doing tomorrow but that'll all be confirmed when you look in your subscriptions list and see when it's scheduled because um, when I upload the videos after I've uploaded these videos uh, for you to do the season then I shall be scheduling the stream after that um, shortly after that um, so anyway you have to do that championship first before you can do the photo challenge so yeah okay <laughs> uh, for 50% you get the Zenvo TSR TSRS that'll be my third one <laughs> Um, and then the Mercedes AMG E63 Brabus thing. That's quite a nice car, actually. Quite a nice car. Uh, for 50% of the whole series, you get sitting on another backstage pass. But as I mentioned in yesterday's update video, which I'll, um, which you can find on my channel or comment, and I'll send you the link. But I won't bother putting in the in the description. It's too much faffy opening new tabs and that. Um, but as you can see, you can get a backstage pass in autumn and winter 50%, so you can get three this month. And I'll be spending some of them on the live streams probably if people want cars and that. And there's a few cars I haven't got yet, but I'll prioritise people and selling them to them on the streams and that. And in 80% of the whole series, you get the ATS GT. I'm bloody sick of that car, to be honest with you. Um, but anyway, so... Uh, some cars that you can win this week are the Hummer Open Top, a bit pointless, the Napier Railton, mm, that'll be my fourth, uh, Toyota Celica or Celica from 94, quite a nice car but that'll be like my fifth or something, the brand new Ford GT500 2020, um, never really driven that car before obviously because it, it's new so can't really rate that one yet and then the Toyota Corolla that'll be like my 19th millionth of that car and um, before we get before I go out the festival playlist for the monthly rivals you're in the Toyota Supra from 98 I'll be doing that on my festival playlist stream Um so we're gonna be having some lovely fun with the Toyota Supra around the Bamburgh Coast circuit all you need to do is post a clean lap to complete so basically no rewinding no missing checkpoints and getting put back and no hitting anything like you know no wall riding or like ramming into things you can smash fences and that but no like 
things that can't break. Uh, sometimes you get lucky if you just hit it with your back end slightly, but uh, so you don't have to beat your rival. You don't really have to do much really either stuff. You can drive around at two mile an hour if you want because it's a bit of a rubbish car. So anyway, and then for the online adventure, you just need to qualify. So you do one uh, ranked either racing team games or free for all racing adventure don't have to win it um, and then that, that marks it gold festival playlist if you want to do more to get the higher prizes then feel free to do so um, as you can see you can get an 8c Forza edition a Chevelle a Morris Traveller uh, that thing with the V12 in it and the Alfa Romeo 33S the highest I've ever got is 8 or 9 um, so I normally get three cars and a bunch of clothes that I don't actually need that I've probably got before. So anyway, um, so I'll probably be doing that on my festival playlist stream as well if you've got time. Uh, we'll do some stunts in a minute and then we've got the 9 and 3 quarters showcase remix. Are you just in the... oh is that the... what is that the... oh I think that's the Ford Anglia. It's either the Ford Anglia, the Opel Cadet or the... Um, What's it called? Um, oh god, I've forgotten the name of it. But I think it's the Ford Anglia anyway. Um, I'm, well, I'm hoping it is anyway. You're against the train, you just have to beat it. Uh, if you're struggling, put it on new racer. And then the train won't go as fast. At least I think that's how it works anyway. There are a few shortcuts in that race. So I'll be showing them on my, f on my stream so you'll be able to see when I do it. So, enough of the festival playlist, now let's get on. Uh, so, in the backstage vote, last week the Chevrolet Colorado won, no surprise there. This week another pointless vote, Mini Countryman versus Mini Convertible. I've got both of them, I've got at least two or three of both of them. Have I ever used either of them? Once, but once each. Uh, and do I really want them? No, so I shall not be buying them unless people want them, in which case I'll be buying them and getting rid of them straight away, so anyway. I voted for the Mini Countryman because it's the one I've got the least of and the one that's least annoying looking. Uh, but it turns out that people like the Mini Convertible more, or should I say, it turns out that people don't want either of them, so they just voted for either, basically. <laughs> um, Right, and then the Super 7 vote this week, if it'll hurry up, is the Formula, I don't know why I said vote, for Super 7 car, Formula Drift 599 Fiorano thingy-me-jig. Uh, all you need to do is complete a set of seven. You can burn any of them that you want um, and just complete a set of seven. Then after that, you'll just get wheel spins. So you can only get the car once. Um, I don't know whether we're bothering with that to be honest with you. I've got no idea when this high stakes thing's coming because we've had the Super 7 for a good few months now and nothing has appeared there so I'm not really sure but I'll let Playground Games decide that. Right, now on to the stunts. Um, so three relatively easy ones again this week. Well, the the, the speed ones are. The Danger Sign one is easy apart from the fact that you always fail when you're recording um, but we'll give it a go. So I'll probably be doing these on my stream again tomorrow and showing more cars. But again, this week I'm going to try and vary the cars. But this week I'm going to pick a car that can actually do it. Unlike last week where I tried to do this speed trap here with the bowler. And uh, if you watch that video, you'll know that it didn't go very well. So anyway, 185 mile an hour. Um, just here's the motorway. So you can go across the motorway and down. Or you can go around here. Either way works relatively well. So... Right, so this is the car I was in for the Forza on video. I haven't changed car because why not? Let's just use this. So this is one of my suggestions for the Forza on video. Um, and, uh, well, yeah, I'm just going to use it for this. So I probably don't need to go this far back, but just to secure it. This car's really nippy acceleration. So Obviously, I could use the Moors there or the Koenigsegg or the Ferrari, but why not vary it? Uh, and I'm doing this on my controller as well, just for speed so there you go that was a bit too easy really right now next let's go to the speed zone so croft speed zone 110 mile an hour this is the offer one of the off-road ones so this way you you have to break more going around the corners this way you can go flat out from about here down here so we'll go from about there hopefully it won't take forever to fast travel the change car because obviously we're not going to do it in the Porsche 
I think I'm probably going to take the Bowler or the Jeep for this one. Obviously quite a lot of people take the Hoonigan RS200 but for the purpose of the video I'm trying to give cars that people are more likely to have and vary it a bit so I think because we used the Bowler last week we'll use the Jeep this week. So there we go my S1 tune. This takes forever. Right, there we go. So my uh, kind of Jurassic Park themed design, like paint job thing. So with the B beefy V8, we can uh, set off. Try, uh, you can cut the corners a bit, but not too much, and don't hit any of the stupid trees that are in the middle of the road. So 110 mile an hour. Once you get to about here, you can go literally flat out. Cut this corner a bit. Make sure you don't crash into the building, and there you go, 116.93 miles an hour. So yeah, obviously you can use the Bowler, the Jeep Trail, uh, Jeep Trail Cap, just can't remember, the Hoonigan RS200, uh, you could probably use like the Mosler for that. Um, you can basically use loads of cars, not really a very hard one, and I did it first try, so... Right, let's move on to the Great Ridge Danger side. 279 miles an hour. Now, I'm still com uh, meters, I mean. Now, I'm still contemplating what car to choose for this. I don't know. The trail cat can probably do it, but I don't know whether it's. Obviously, it's got the speed in that, but I don't know whether it's too heavy. And same with the bowler, with the falzer wing and stuff. But we'll give it a go. I mean, what is there to lose? Nothing, really. Bound to fail one of the stunts. So you can either follow the road, or you can hit the AI, or you can go down here. Uh, that way, I'm just going to rewind. Oh, I'm in solo, so it doesn't um, doesn't like leave the gap open. I'm in solo, so it puts the wall back, which is a bit annoying. But oops, and I missed it. Of course, I did. Let's steer a bit right. Yeah, I've done it again. What's the point with this one? You can't see where you're going. Right. Just, let's just... So I've just lost about 30 mile an hour there, probably. Come on. Oh, for God's sake. 10 metres off. Right, we might be able to do this if I rewind a couple of times. If we could try to get rid of this stupid jumpy business halfway up the thing, then we might be able to keep the speeds that we had by only doing that and then hitting it not like that because that's not going to work. But then if we actually hit it properly, then we might do it. I'm, I'm hoping. Probably not, but no, that's, that's just way off. What's the point in that shine or stupid experiment? Right, we're well, just gonna go full throttle again now. <laughs> right, if I don't do it this time, then I'm not gonna like make the video longer just because the the game doesn't let me jump off and ten meter short. But I'll be doing it on the live stream anyway. So oh yeah, that was a good jump. Left turn left car. Oh god, that worked, didn't it? 96 miles an hour off the jump. Ah, well that worked, didn't it, Falzer? Ah, yeah, of course it did. Right, come on. Oh god. Flipped it. Or should I say the car flipped itself. There. Okay. So you get the gist. Just maybe take a bigger run up and get in an online session so the wall smashes and stays smashed. Yeah. But anyway, enough of the uh, nonsense. Let's get on with the championships. So, for the trial, you need an A-class heavy hitter. Uh, it's called Excess bag Baggage, and it's cross-country. Now, you see, the thing is, heavy hitters isn't like a category in your filter. So if you go into here and you filter it, the, it's not in any of these so what you have to do is you either have to go to the event and click view eligible cars or you have to guess or you have to go in here and click the pause button and then these are the cars that are already in A class so there might be some heavy hitters that are in B class, C class, D class 
but we don't know that because it only says they're eligible so that people who don't tune the cars can use them so that the stock so these are the cars that are already in A class so I have most of these tuned so as you can see basically all like off-road cars got a couple of super saloons in there a couple of pickups then you got a random truck at the end and they're basically just yeah heavy cars yeah so if we just go in here um, let's just say I have the Land Rover tuned Ugh. So the Land Rover, uh, Range Rover there, A800, that's quite a nice car. Um, let's say, what other cars were there? BMWs. So uh, that one's in S2, um, that's that there, and then that's got the V12 in it. I'm not saying that it turns, because it doesn't. Um, then you've got the Bentleys. Um, so A class there with the Forza wing, A class without the Forza wing, um, the Bentley Continental. There you go, A class. So you get the gist. Um, let's go to Dodge. Um, there, so A class Dodge. Basically, whichever you fancy out of the ones that are in the eligible cars. If you can't remember, I'd leave leave a comment and I can look for you and suggest the car that you might have, or you can have a lucky sell in the polls menu. Oh, right, on to the games. So this is at uh, the North Rail Yard Summer Games, and it's B Class Vintage Racers. Yes, you did hear that right, and yes, it is a bit stupid. So this is where you win the Napier, so basically you can use the Napier if you want and you get to play games in a car that is just stupid. So now we have to go all the way to the bottom to get to Vintage Racers. Um, so this one, this one, this one and this one are in the auto show this is the car you win I have a B class tune for it it says 4.7 speed but then I tuned it fine tuned the gear ratio final drive so it's actually faster than it is originally um, but that's more of a race build um, and obviously that's the car you win so if you don't have it then uh, this one I don't have a B class tune um, neither do I and that that one it's B class it handles really well um, it's not really very fast, so you probably won't do very well in games, but at least you won't be spinning out. This one is, I've just put the big ass V12 in it, so it doesn't turn or anything, but you can drift it. And uh, that's the barn fine one. This one is rear wheel drive, because as soon as you make it all wheel drive, it goes into A class. So you'll be spinning around there, and then that one I don't have a tune for that either. So you don't have to win the game, so it doesn't really matter, but I like to enjoy the game, so, but I'd probably pick the Bentley, the Bugatti, or if you have it already the Napier because it's big <laughs> so you can ram people right onto the championships so road racing flex your muscles this is the one where you win the GT500 to the brand new car and you need an S class, S1 class, class modern muscle so if we go down to modern muscle which is somewhere near here, yep there right so the the Cadillac ATS V I tuned that one and I put some random guy's design on it to make it look a bit more fancy so this is in the auto show 65,000 so it's cheap it's fast it handles and it's got plenty of power so that's a good one the Corvette from 2009 um, has a very low top speed when you all-wheel drive swap it and it's a bit more expensive but that's I think that's actually an off-road tune um, the Camaro is rear wheel drive. Um, what else have we got? Quite a lot of these are A, a class. Um, and then I tuned the uh, Vauxhall Monaro from that's 25,000 in the auto show, so incredibly cheap. Uh, and that's quite good as well. So, And I put a random guy's design on it again, so yeah. You get the gist. Right, next is D500 Cult Cars Dirt Racing Cult Collection. So, yay, is what we say to that. So, so most cult cars are in the auto show. There's only a couple that, that aren't. I'm getting spammed again with notifications during my videos. 
So the Abarth is really slow, but handles really well. So that's good for circuits. As you can see, it had literally the worst stats on that bit. But anyway, don't just ignore that. It's quite a nice car. Um, that one's in C class. That one is if you have car pass and it's rear wheel drive. Basically, just winging it. That's rear wheel drive. Um yeah that's the car you win the beetles probably the best bet for speed um, but basically I'd suggest if the circuits the Abarth otherwise just use the beetle because it's actually cheaper even though it's bigger concept right and then finally you have this one here dirt racing forest for the trees and it's C class retro rally so if we go into here we go to Retro Rally. Do, 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 do. There we go. So, uh, that one's B class. That one's not tuned. That one's B class. The Pulsar Stock, which I think. Is that the car you win? Is that the car you win? No, the Pulsar's in spring, I think. But anyway, um, the Pulsar stock, if you've got it, it's not in the auto show, but that's basically probably a really good car to use. I don't have many that are in C class, but the Subaru Legacy, I've put the powerful engine in it, so it literally goes zoom. Um, and then the 1992 Celica um, is okay as well. That's the car you win. So you can use the, the car you win to get the car you win. So, yeah, anyway. Like I said, just just as fun. Right, so anyway, thank you for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video and hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to uh you have to do this championship first before you can do the photo challenge, otherwise it'd be impossible. Um don't forget to check out my Forzathon guide for the Forzathon and to turn your notifications on so you don't miss the live stream uh, hopefully tomorrow and you can also check to see when it's scheduled as well. Um the, it, the festival playlist one will be I'll just be doing all the events then if anybody needs help I'll uh, do an open lobby so that we can do the events otherwise if nobody wants to join then it'll just be me but I think there's somebody already one one of the people that's on the last one said that they wanted to join so we'll probably just let people in to do the events uh, and I'll uh, do the stunt as well the one that I couldn't do uh, and then the other stream will be a full open lobby mini games but that will be in a few days so that won't be scheduled quite so anyway thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe uh, it really helps and it really helps me make some more good content and uh, I do enjoy having a, an audience that I know will watch watch my videos um, since September 40 subscribers nearly 2,000 views it's insane really so thank you thank you really so much everybody so uh, I'll see you probably tomorrow then for the live stream um, two videos tonight one video last night which is the update one and, uh, and then a live stream tomorrow so hopefully we'll see you tomorrow so well thanks for watching and I'll see you later bye